Saints just over halfway. Goalless as we approach 14 minutes, but it's David Connolly who's seen a lot of the ball. Now punching halfway inside the Swindon half of the field. Butterfield on the overlap. Punching goes himself and drives it wide on the right hand post. Well, it opened up in front of him there. Butterfield took the defender away with a good run and punching on his stronger left foot, dragged it wide on Lucas's post. Well, that's the strength of pushing. If you're going to allow him to come inside and Swindon have got the early warnings there, they've allowed him to come in two or three times instead of sending them down the line on his weaker foot, his right foot, and he's blasted that one. Just on that near post, they must have been about three, four inches just past the post. Very, very unlucky. Good effort, that. Ball in from Kennedy's not a bad one towards Charlie Austin. He chested it down rather strongly. Schneiderlin tries one trick too many on the edge of his box. Breaks for Ferry to shoot. Deflected, brilliant save. Kelvin Davis threw out his right-hand side. Saints were guilty there of not clearing their lines that they needed to, and their goalkeeper rescued them. I tell you what, Saints are very, very lucky there because Jai got caught ball watching. The ball's dropped in behind him, and uh, the Swindon players knocked it back. I think it was Austin, and then there was a shot from the edge of the box which deflected. And Kelvin Davis has made an absolutely outstanding save. Saw it late, down to his right, and round the post. And Swindon clear with Cuthbert from the heart of the defence, but only finds Dan Harding on the halfway line. Goulian off that left touch line, I'm afraid, gives it away again to Simon Ferry on this occasion. Down the line, the right-hand side, it goes for Swindon. Austin gets there ahead of Jaidi. Austin's early ball in towards Perigard. Oh, oh, great finish! Magnificent finish from the former Saints loanee, Vincent Perigard, set up by Austin, who crossed from a hopeless position on the right-hand side. Perigard got there first on the volley, stretching right-footed. Fired it past Kelvin Davis, 29th minute, Saints nil, Swindon won. I was just going to say, Gooley doesn't look comfortable wide on that left side. He gives the ball away. Austin gets down the right-hand side. He crosses a great ball in. And Pericard read the situation superbly, never took his eye off the ball, lifted his leg nice and high. The outside of his foot, he's clipped it past Kelvin Davis. That's a good goal, 1-0 down. Well, he had four years at Portsmouth, he played five games for Southampton, four of them from the bench, and he's come back to St Mary's to haunt Saints this evening. I have to say, he's been widely criticised down the years for a variety of reasons, but that was a stonking finish from Vincent Pericard. Kelvin Davis had absolutely no chance. But Connolly's worked hard, he tries to feed Lambert, just clipped uh, Lambert on the back of the heels, Connolly plays it forward to Lambert again, who was in a good position but was offside, but the referee has pulled play back there for a foul by a Manqua on David Connolly, and now Ricky Lambert will have a set-piece 25 yards out. Absolutely Lambert territory, this. Left of centre, very similar to the position from which he scored against Leighton Orient with a deflected free-kick, and it always brings the chart of Ricky Lambert, Southampton's goal machine from the Northern stand. And that is what is uh, being belted out away to our right, underneath the big screen, which shows Saints nil, Swindon 1. Shows that we're coming up to the 33-minute mark as referee Sheldrake pushes the Swindon wall back inside the Saints box. So this is about 26, 27 yards out. Lambert with his right foot to drive this one round the wall and a comfortable save in the end for David Lucas, falling on the ball in his six-yard box. Well, in fairness to Ricky Lambert, his right foot... Uh, he's bent it round the wall and it's on target, can't ask more than that. You're just hoping then that the players are following in because if the goalkeeper fumbles it, it's a knock-in, but uh, goalkeeper held well. Saints are going to have to lift the tempo here and move up a gear. Eight minutes to the break, Lambert flicks it on, looking for Gooley, who tries to battle past his mound, down goes Gooley, and the free kick's gone the other way for a, uh, a pulling infringement by Gooley on Kevin Amankwa. Well, Gooley's come in and uh, as he's trying to get to the ball, he's pulling the player back. And I think the, the referee was right on the spot there and saw it early. And a Saints throw on the halfway line. Nil one in favour of the visitors from Swindon. Throw in taken quickly by Butterfield. Forward it comes from Schneider into Lambert, who's come deep. Lambert's ball over the top towards Hammond's a good one. Hammond tried to take it first time, missed the ball, and then claimed for a handball offence by Ferry, tracking back there. Goal kicks the decision. That's the first time, Chris, Hammond or Schneidlin has made a run. And this time it was Hammond making a run. He's got in brilliantly there. That's that's the type of thing I like to see from a midfield player where one sits, one gets a chance to go in behind the strikers with a little ball over the top. Very difficult to pick the runner up then. Corner to Saints, near side of the left. Schneidlin is on set pieces from the left in the absence of Adam Lallana this evening. Holds up his right hand, his delivery in the first half was pretty good. That's not too bad either, towards Dean Hammond who pulls away, in towards Jaidi, volleys it over the crossbar. Probably should have done better, tried to get his right foot on it, couldn't hook it on target, Dave. 
Well, Hammond pulled away really well there, uh, to just outside the back of the six-yard box, like you said, Chris, and uh, freely, free position, good header back. Jaid, he just couldn't uh, get the ball on target. A Manquid down the right-hand side, 1-0 to Swindon, a Manquid across on the right flank, it's a good cross in towards Austin, and Swindon have gone two up! Saints absolute statues at the back, again a simple cross on the right-hand side, and just as he did here last season, Charlie Austin nets in front of the Northern stand, 17 minutes gone in the second half, and Saints' grip on the Johnston's paint trophy appears to be slipping. Saints nil, Swindon two. Well, that ball's come in from the right, they've got down the right-hand side between halfway line and 18-yard line, and it's been whipped in diagonally, and what's happened, the back four pushed out, and Fonte stayed in, playing the man on side, and it was a little bit of hesitation between Fonte and Davis, allowing uh, the Swindon player in, and no mistake, he put it away, but poor defending at the back, and poor decision-making. Well, here come Swindon now with Charlie Austin, and again the visitor streaming forward, and Austin's got his head down, he's going for goal here, he goes down in the box, just outside the box, free kick right on the line, the assistant referee is flagged for a free kick on the edge of the penalty area, and is there going to be a problem here, I wonder, was it Fonte or Jaidi, Dave, who made the challenge to yellow card for Fonte? Well, he was really heading for the box there, he'd gone past, and the two centre-halves tonight have never looked comfortable, Chris, do you know that? Uh, it sounds strange, doesn't it? But, of course, Fonte and Martin have looked solid in the last couple of games, and now Fonte and Jaidi have looked all at sea. Well, they've looked very casual as well to me. So a free kick to Swindon here, it's a yard outside the penalty area, the burst from Austin, Fonte's gone in the book, he's joined Charlie Austin in there, Austin was slightly heading away from goal as Fonte made the challenge, so Callum Kennedy is there with his left foot, he may smash this, or McGovern to clip it round the wall, it's only 19, maybe 20 at max yards out, four-man Saints wall, it's Kennedy and it's a great save! Went past the wall, probably predictably enough from Kennedy towards that far corner, and Kelvin Davis palmed it round the post. Well, that was a clever free kick from Kennedy. He hasn't really gone to blast it. He's seen a little gap edge on the edge of the wall. He's bent it round the wall, but he's kept it on the floor, and a little bit of venomous uh, in, in, his, in his shot. He's really, he's really hit it, and Kelvin Davis has seen it late. It was a good save down to his right. It's Ryan Dixon is on, and Lee Barnard is going to be replacing... Number 12, Danny Butterfield. So Butterfield off and Barnard on. So that's going to uh, lead to a formation change, Dave. Are they going three at the back, as we saw them do against Bolton late in the game last week? Well, if they're going to pull it back, I said they've got to get Barnard on. Well, he's on. And what they'll do, they've got to go with three at the back now. Now John Eady across the top of the centre circle. And a chance for Saints to build again. Rochdale are here on Saturday. If Saints can't beat them, they might as well pack in, I would imagine. Although Rochdale did have a good away win at Brentford uh, at the weekend. A Mankwa in field. There's a crunching challenge from Barnard. He's going to be off. I think Barnard's going to be sent off here. It's a yellow card. I thought the way the referee went straight for his pocket that Barnard was going. He has gone. Referee Sheldrake has got the wrong card out, can you believe? Now it's a red card. Sheldrake's had a mare. Barnard is sent off, and that'll be a three-game ban. Well, that, that is a dangerous tackle, and in, in unfairness to the referee, tackles like that have got to be dealt with, and he's had no hesitation, he's pulled out his red card, and he's gone. Well, Lee Barnard has been on the field for nine minutes, he's jogging off down the touchline, the moment he launched into it, Dave, it had red card written all over it. Chris, when you go over the top, for me, sorry, got to go. Well... If the Northern stand thought Mr. Sheridan wasn't fit to referee before that, him pulling out the wrong card will have uh, endeared him even more to them. But Saints now are down to ten, and surely now the Johnson's paint trophy is gone. Two nil down, a man down. Here are Swindon now, Alan O'Brien to rub salt into the wound. He's won a corner. Jose Fonte thinks it should be a goal kick, so of the Northern stand. If Mr. Sheldrake gave Saints fans a winning lottery ticket at the minute, it wouldn't be the right thing to do. He's having a nightmare. It's over one, exit to two now elsewhere. So a court, it's amazing how uh, 8,000 inside a 32,000 ground can make so much noise, Dave. You know, we started the season 10 points behind last season, and every expectations were high this season. All right, we haven't started brilliantly, but, you know, we've shot ourselves in the foot again, haven't we, because we're, we're giving ourselves another problem here at the start of this season. Swindon coming forward now, looking for a third to really put this game to bed once and for all, if it's not already. Timlin plays it back in, Pericard's offside, up goes the flag, as the... Uh, 
Saints fans applaud the linesman who's dropped a couple of rickets on this uh, near side. And it's David Connolly who's got plenty of experience but didn't make the right choice there. And Tim Lim will play it away down the left-hand side. And Alan O'Brien will set off in pursuit of this. And he's got some pace. And Alan O'Brien's into the area. Pericard wants it square. Brilliant intervention by Jaini. And then it's in. And Swindon have put the crowning glory on it. And it's Vincent Pericard again who seals the game for Swindon. Southampton are exiting the Johnson's Paint Trophy at the first hurdle this evening. And the problems continue to mount here at the St Mary's Stadium. Deep into stoppage time, it is now Saints nil, Swindon 3. Well, I said it earlier, that's the problem. If you don't get organised at the back, when you're attacking and you've changed your tactics to a three at the back, if you don't remain organised, even when you're going forward, you get punished in behind uh, the wing-backs. That's what's happened. Swindon have got out on the left-hand side, uh, past... Uh, the defenders, they've cut a ball in and Pericard's finished it off.